so excited. I can't wait to share a lot of things with you all, my listeners, my supporters, my friends, my family. Thank you to Cousin Mike. Although Christmas is not about us, it's about Jesus. Let me make sure that everyone is clear about that. Uh, we need to get back to the basics, I believe. And if we don't get back to the basics, you know, because the world is moving so fast, mm -hmm. we need to slow it down just a little bit. We're just freestyling, y'all. Now I have to ask you questions. Oh, now you want to ask me questions? I don't have any, but yeah. <laughs> well, how you gonna ask me a question if you don't have any? I make it. I make it up along the way. Okay, make it up. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a minute to inhale and exhale. Red beans and rice or gumbo? <laughs> That's tough. I'm going to go ahead and go with gumbo. She knew she was loved. She knew that her mother did all that she could to help her, but something just did not click for her that she was worthy. Tori Talks, season two, y'all. Hey, y'all, what's up? Tori Talks is back for season two. Thank y'all for um, staying up to date with me and following me on Instagram and on YouTube. I now do video podcasts. So make sure you check that out on YouTube and make sure you follow me wherever you get your podcasts. I'm on Anchor, Spotify, um, Amazon Music, and Apple Podcasts. So make sure you check me out. Follow me. Um, listen every week. I have some real, real, real good content this season, y'all. I can't wait for you to hear it. All right. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Tory Talks. Y'all see I'm on location again. I am in Tiesta Keys. I am sitting at, um, let me see, hold up, I'm sorry. Turtles on Little Sarasota Bay. So I have the water behind me, some beautiful boats. Um, it's just gorgeous out here. The weather is beautiful today. Uh, so I think for this episode, I want to do a year 2022 in review and um, take a little break after this, two, two or three week break and get ready for the new year. And so in this episode, what I want to do is I want to just talk about my 2022 with y'all, share, share the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the beautiful, the gorgeous, <laughs> everything that happened with me in 2022. So y'all ready? All right. So, as always, I started 2022 with um, with a 21 day fast, hosted by Pastor Fred Luter of Franklin Avenue Baptist Church in New Orleans. And in this 21 day fast, he always um, encourages us to fast for something that we really, really enjoy, really, really like. And so, of course, for me, that would be Starbucks. So I fasted from Starbucks for 21 days. It actually ended up being 30 days. And in that time frame, you know, I, I asked God, you know, I told him exactly what was on my heart, what I wanted 2022 to be like. And so I just encourage you all to do that um, starting in 2023 next year. Thank you. Thank you. So... Sorry, y'all. That was my waitress bringing me the check. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said, I, I encourage you all to do a fast beginning January 1st or 2nd. I don't know, you know how you want to do it, but I'll probably start January 1st. And just ask God, you know, to help you to sustain you during that fast, whether it's 21 days, 30 days. Even if you think you can only do seven days, just take it one day at a time. Um, secondly, what I have is that I was just, I remember being 
so stressed out at work. Um, I was working for um, local government in New Orleans. I remember being very stressed out, so stressed out, I started looking for other jobs. And if you know anything about me, you know that I really must have been stressed out because I love my job. Um, I love the people I was working with. I love, I was doing what I went to school for. I was being an attorney. So me looking for another job, it was just, it was difficult to even do in the beginning, but I had to do it. Um, and so, I mean, I just kept going. I kept doing my job, kept doing what, I, what needed to be done with my job. And I mean, you'll find out what happened with that. Um, I also traveled a lot in the beginning, at least, of 2022. Well, at the end, too, but at least in the beginning, it was more travel for fun. In the beginning of 2022, I went to Mexico. Um, I went to, did I go to Philadelphia last year? No, that was my parents. <laughs> I went to Jamaica. Um, I know I was somewhere else. I can't remember. But... You know, I did a lot of traveling. I'm saying a lot, but maybe that's not a lot. But I did some, you know, some pretty good trips with great friends in the beginning of 2022. And again, if you don't know me, I love to travel. So those were priorities, you know, over everything else for me. I had to travel. And also, so in the beginning of 2022, I think, I mean, I was in a relationship but I was feeling this guy a lot and I really thought we was going to be together. Negative. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I mean, we had, we had some good times, but um, some other things happened and which showed me that that was not who God had for me um, because he couldn't even do the simple things that I wanted in a, in a partner and a mate. So thank you, Lord, for removing that. <laughs> I mean, I just got to keep it real. Um, what else do I have? Oh, so remember I told you I was stressed out from work? Yeah. So a few months later, I had to take a mental break from work. That's how stressed out I was. Um, my blood pressure was sky high. Um, I wasn't able to sleep at night. I wasn't focused. Um, I was... Actually, I actually became a little distant, I, I believe, from family and friends because I was just so tired from work. I was I was exhausted after coming home from work each day. And I mean, I had a job that was, you know, it was pretty, what's the word? Uh, it was pretty intense, but it's no way that I, you know, no way that I should have felt the way that I felt each day coming home from work. So I was stressed out. I had to take a mental break. I think I had two weeks off. Um, and I felt great after that. I felt the best that I felt in a very long time. Um, I went back to work with boots on the ground, ready to hit, you know, ready to take things off. And really, you know, things was were great after that. Um, so, yeah, I... I, I, I thank God that I was able to take that break, to take that time off and to refocus, readjust, realign, and just think about, you know, what, I, what I'm what i doing, why am I there? So, I, you know, I thank God for that opportunity for allowing me to take that time off um, and get back to work after that. And I'm grateful for my employer for understanding that as well, you know, because we all need to check our mentors. We all need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves first. And that's really not what this podcast is about, but <laughs> I just had to say that, you know, take care of yourself because you can't take care of others. You can't do your job if you're not taking care of yourself. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's about the job. And then remember that guy I told y'all? Well, I got I got kicked to the curb. Yours truly got kicked to the curb. He just he wasn't available. Um, whether that was emotionally or actually physically there, he wasn't available. So I got kicked to the curb. Um, 
it was sad. I, you know, I can't front. It was sad, um, but it was needed. And so I appreciate him kicking me to the curb, to be honest. I appreciate that. Um, and so um, that's about the first six months of the year. And then the second six months, I mean, I'm not saying the first six months were great, but they were okay. You know, it was stuff that we, we can handle, stuff that a person, a reasonable person would be able to handle. But man, that second half, that second half took off and it really hurt me. It really hurt me because some things happened that um, I did not see coming, number one. I was not prepared for, number two, and I didn't want to happen, you know. And so, but what I can say is that God, he knows all. He, he even protects us, even though we might think that we're, you know, we're not being protected by God. You just must remember that God does not make any mistakes. And saying that, um, most people don't know this, but uh, most of the people that I know, I should say, they don't know this, but I was released. That's the nice, nice way to say it. I was released from my job. And I think um, God released me because he knew that I wouldn't do it on my own. Although I had been applying for other jobs, although I had taken time off, going to the doctor to get time off. Um, those were signs for me to just let it go. But I didn't want to let it go because that's something that I wanted to do. You know, I applied for that job many times before they actually hired me. I think maybe three times before they actually hired me. And so I didn't want to let it go because that's where I wanted to be. Um, but God said, no, my child that your time there is up. So he released me. Um, well, he he allowed my employer to release me. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. Um, looking back, at the time, I was, I, I wasn't upset, to be honest. I wasn't upset, but I was, I was hurt. I was hurt because it came out of nowhere. You know, like I said before, I was doing my job, doing what, I needed to, you know, needed to do for my job, my employer, but um, they released me stating that I wasn't a good fit for the team. I hadn't done anything wrong. I just wasn't a good fit. And um, what you're not going to believe, or what you may believe, later that evening, actually the next day, I didn't check my emails that, that, that day. Later that evening, I checked my emails, and the job that I applied for back in January, on that very same day, offered me a job with them. Praise God. <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> and then two days later, another job that I applied for during that time that I was, you know, wrestling, Another job called me and said, hey, you got the job. When can you start? So God really was waiting on me all of that time. I was holding up progress. I was, I was the bad guy in this situation, you know? So I'm going to pause from my year of review and just offer this word to you. Whatever God says he has for you, it is for you. Don't be afraid to uh, to fly, don't be afraid to to take risks. Don't be afraid. Just if God said it, believe it, and that settles it. That's it. That's all. Um, so, like I said, I, I had these two job opportunities. Um, better, in my opinion, but I was just afraid of losing one job and not, you know, not getting the other. So um, I started the new job. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, 
and I'm doing, like I'm traveling. Like I said in the beginning, I love to travel. So let's get this. My job requires me to travel and I love to travel. So it's, I mean, it's a win-win in, in that, in that respect. Although I'm not traveling per se where I want to go, I'm not making travel reservations on where I mean, you know, my top travel destination. But while I am away, I do get to see many different things that I probably would not have seen on my own. So I'm just grateful for this opportunity in my new position. Um, yeah. So like I said, I started the new job. I haven't been stressed at all. My blood pressure been on point. Um, the best that I've ever seen it, in fact. Um, so yeah, again, I think I just thank God. Like there's nobody else to thank other than God for this opportunity, for releasing me, for giving me this um, this new job, this new role that I'm in. Yeah. Um, and also, so since I've been at this new job, I've you know I've been able to sit back and reflect on different things over my life, and I would always say that. You know, I want to be married. I want kids, things like that. But this time of my life, I'm really ready. And I've made um, major steps in um, getting myself together for my husband and for my children that I will have. Um, and that's what we have to do. You know, when we really want something and we cry out to God about wanting that, whatever that something is, God, a lot of times he's waiting on us to make the move. And so I am grateful that, I, you know, growing up, I wasn't obedient. I, I wasn't. I can't even say that I was. But I'm grateful that I have learned obedience and learned patience um, in this time, in this season of my life. Because, Lord, I am ready. And I'm going to be patient. And I'm you know, I just, I can't do the things that I used to do. Like, you know, I would just go hang out, but I don't need to do that. I can just stay inside and read, stay inside and make these podcasts, stay inside and edit my podcast. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, whatever you tell God that you want, believe that he's going to do it for you. Um, I limit my contact, and it's why does it sound like a ton of music up out here? <laughs> I can't win, but that's okay. Still a beautiful background. Um, I limit my contacts and my availability to people who shouldn't even have the access to me. And so that's one way that I've um, been obedient with God and, you know, just letting him know that I'm serious about this. Um, yeah, that's something that I did the second half of 2022 and um yeah now what else happened in 2022 um so the saints new orleans saints i don't even know what to say about them other than they disappointed me but <laughs> i mean i don't i don't have much words for them i did I did go to the Tampa Bay game um, this past week, Monday night football in Tampa Bay, since I am working out here in Florida. I went to the Tampa Bay game in the stadium, y'all. The stadium is nice. It's a beautiful stadium. I was sitting in the end zone, um, surrounded by red, Tampa Bay, surrounded by red. Um, but the fans were so nice. Every The game was a really nice game, too. Um, but... That Tom Brady, I tell you, he then came back in that full quarter and beat the Saints. But um, I can't even say that I didn't expect it. I did expect the Saints to not win. I did expect that. So, but, um, and I keep saying, um, but the game, it was so good. The environment was good. The people were nice. The food, not so much, but that's okay. Um but let, how about them pals? <laughs> we we go right on them pals though. Them pals, the Pelicans. I am so happy for them. I'm so excited for this young team that we have. 
Um, they were real good last season, surprised a lot of people. And so this year they came back with that mighty force. They're number one right now in the Western Conference. So I'm excited about them. Um, y'all, I'm growing, I'm glowing, and I'm evolving. I can't be mad. I'm so happy. So basically, that was 2022 in a nutshell. I probably missed some stuff. I don't, I can't keep up with everything. Um, oh, also, I think, I think that I, like I said, I'm growing, I'm growing. I think that I have gained a little bit patience um, because some things have happened and I'll just sit back and relax. Um, just, you know, not saying much until enough is enough. <laughs> Whereas before, I would say something immediately. But, you know, I'm just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying life and all that comes with it. So that's 2022. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hold up. I think I have. Yeah, I did. So um, Spotify slash Anchor, I think they're the same company. But they did a, um, like they wrapped my podcast. And so I found out some really cool stuff about my podcast. And I'm going to share them with you. So, um, so I'm just going to tell you how Tori Talks did this year. Since I said, you know, everything about Tori, let's talk about Tori Talks. So... First, I just want to thank each and every one of you, um, everyone who has listened, every one of you who has um, shared the podcast with your friends, your relatives. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Two years ago, I told Cousin Mike from the Art of Letting Go podcast, go check him out, that I want to do a podcast. And he told me it's just as simple as um, just doing it. You know, it's simple, just do it. And so it took me a year to just do it, <laughs> but I started it and I have not looked back yet. And I know that I can always count on Cousin Mike whenever I'm having, you know, some of the technical difficulties or just if I have questions. Um, so I'm thankful for Cousin Mike for, you know, introducing me to the podcast world. I, you know, I started and I just can't stop. So my podcast, y'all, in 2022 was heard in four countries. Four. <laughs> wow. In total, I created over 350 minutes of content. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of talking. <laughs> Tory Talks. Tory Talks is in the top 15% most shared podcast globally. I can't make this up. I mean... Maybe they making it up, making me feel good, but I can't make it up. Tori Talks is in the top 25% most followed podcast. Really? Tori Talks. <laughs> 40 of y'all, 40, said that Tori Talks is ranked number one. Wow. <laughs> of all the podcasts y'all listen to, 40 of y'all said it's ranked number one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. So in 2023, for purposes of Tory Talks at least, I want to get more into video editing, which I started this year. I've begun using Riverside for videos, but I also want to edit those videos, um, whether that's like just doing transitions or adding content before and after the actual podcast episode or in between. So I want to get into video editing. I want to plan better with my guests. So I, you know, like, like I said, I think two weeks ago, my friend Yoshi, um, I asked her and we recorded 10 minutes later. So I, but I, I want to get more on, on schedule. I want to have schedules and, you know, just record like that in terms, instead of, I'm sorry, instead of asking on the fly and then we just record. Um, I want to have episodes recorded in advance to give me a chance to do a real edit for y'all. So, um, so yeah, just pray for me on that. Because um, right now, all I do, 
I'm not lying to y'all. All I do is I listen once to make sure everything is there. And everything is there. All right. Let's let's upload it. So I want to get better at um, editing, whether that's video and audio, get better at um, scheduling guests and things like that. In my personal life, I ain't gonna tell y'all that. Stay tuned. Because I do expect 2023 to be a year of exponential blessings. Not just for me, but for you too. So in the next year, I pray God continue to bless me, my family, my friends, my listeners, my supporters. You know, I just pray God's most choice special blessings over you in your life. So I just have one question. What are you believing God for in 2023? Let me know. Tory talks, to Tory talks, Tory talks, Tory talks, to Tory talks, Tory talks, Tory talks, talks, season two.